Hello, I'm Rodney from Baumberger Store. Today we're in the Anvil Store and we're going to talk about your next paint project. Your first question is going to be how much paint do I need for my project? Let's say your average size room, bedroom is 12 by 12. That's going to take two gallons on the walls, one for each coat, one gallon for your ceiling, and then a quart or a gallon on your trim, depending on whether or not you're going to paint your doors or not. The average gallon does about 400 square feet, so that's a good starting point. Everybody's favorite thing to do is to do the paint prep. That means sanding, patching holes, and that type of thing. Everybody says, I like to paint, but I hate the prep work. Well, the prep work is the most important part. What you want to do is clean it real good. Make sure there's no greases or oils on it, and you can use an ammonia water for that. Then you want to lightly sand it if it's, if it's kind of shiny. If there's any little spots or holes, anything like that, you want to touch them up with spackle. And then you can prime. I like to prime the entire wall, or you can spot prime, and then you're ready for your paint. So your next favorite part is to pick a color for your room. With our chip racks here, we have probably around 10,000 colors from Benjamin Moore, Valspar, Clark and Kensington. It can be a little overwhelming. Sometimes you even have a color that we don't have here that you'd really like. We can bring that in. We can match that with our spectrophotometer. And we can also then do a, a, a sample, a pint sample of any of those colors that you see on the rack here or your custom color. You can take that home, put it on your wall, see what it looks like in your lighting and in your space before you commit to buying more. All right, you finally have your paint picked. It's home, your walls are ready to go. Now what? You want to start painting with your ceiling, but first of all, get some drop cloths and cover up everything that you don't want to get splattered. After the ceiling, you'll go and, and paint the walls, and then lastly, trim and doors. A couple products you definitely need is a nice quality brush. We recommend a nice quality roller as well. The better the roller, the less aggravation you'll have, and painting will be a little bit more fun. You might need some tape to tape off some edges if you want a nice clean edge. And then you'll obviously need a paint roller and a frame and a tray and all that type of thing as well. Maybe even a ladder if your ceilings are really high. So we've given you a basic general overview of painting an interior room in your house. We have a lot of other surfaces around our house that we can also paint from outside of your house, decks, cabinets, tile. There's a lot of different things we can work with. And we have experts at both our Anvil and our Lidditz location who are just waiting for you to come on in and ask your questions and get your project done. <music>